Want to get over 80k points in Deadman? First of all, keep in mind the controls. And for the effects of this guide, I'll be referring to the Nintendo Switch control scheme. Press Y to punch and B to jump. You can also jump and press Y to perform an air kick. And finally, maintain Y to charge a dash attack. The dash attack is the most useful move you have and you'll end up using it a lot. In order to advance in the minigame, you must collect the letters D, E, A, T, H. Once you get them all, you can advance to the level boss and continue. The game ends up in a loop until you find all the letters in the level. You can check the names of the enemies in the Deadman cards. I'm not going to name anyone here, just to keep things straightforward and less confusing. Let's say these are small dudes, these are big dudes, these ones are running dudes, these ones are laser dudes, these ones are sword dudes, and these are the bosses. The good thing about this is that they can all be called enemies. This little guide is focused on getting more than 80k points before reaching the last level. You don't need to complete the minigame in order to get into the scoreboard. When ready, Go to your motel room and fire the TV to start playing Dead Man. The first part of the first level is pretty simple. Use it to get accustomed to the controls and just do normal punches while getting the letter D. When you get the sword, use it as much as you can before getting the letter E. And then continue and get the letter A. The sword will run out of power at this point. Ignore the arrow and continue a little bit further to get a diamond worth 5k points to your score. Return to the arrow and go to the exit. The first enemies in this part are once again pretty simple to kill. Destroy all the machines to rack up more points and keep going. In this next part you'll get ambushed. Stay to the right and avoid getting swarmed and count 5 enemies. Move a little to the left to lure the next small dudes, being careful not to lure more than one at a time. you'll get rewarded with the letter T. Continue to the right, ignoring the enemies that may appear to the left side. Destroy all the machines and keep killing the enemies with your punches. To easily kill the big dudes, just smash the attack button close to them until they die and you'll be fine. You can grab the letter H right away to get the boss battle started. Killing this dude is easy, just stay close to him, mashing the punch button until he dies. 
Just be careful not to touch the fire and you'll be fine. In the second stage, you are going to start using the dash attack against the running dudes. As soon as you start, kill the first two enemies and start charging close to this flower. Wait until the running dude starts dashing at you, then release. Advance carefully and go up to avoid the laser dude. Stay close to him and charge again, waiting for the next running dude. Release and kill the laser dude after that. Advance slowly until you see the next running dude and do the same. Go to the center to avoid the new lasers and kill the two big dudes while waiting for the letter D to circle back at you. There are now three laser dudes in the vicinity. Kill the one in the lower side and the upper side of the level. Then wait there for the next enemy. When you see it, get back a little and start charging. This is the base strategy to rack up points safely against the running dudes. Do the same once again before killing the remaining laser dudes. Don't get past the yellow flowers and keep killing the enemies. Once you see the next running dude, get back a little bit and start charging. This part is dangerous because there are two running dudes ready to strike. Be careful and avoid the second one. Kill him with your punches if you need to. Kill the laser and wait for the next running dude. Advance slowly, killing all the enemies until you see the next one. Repeat. Grab the letter E and continue. Stay close to the mushrooms, kill the enemies you can and start charging. You can kill the two dudes in one swoop. Stay close to the laser dude and repeat the strategy. Kill the laser after that. Don't get past the next laser and start charging again. Once the coast is clear, kill the remaining enemies and go back to get the diamond. In this next section, you'll be ambushed by a lot of running dudes. Stay to the right and kill the two enemies that may appear there and quickly start charging. If you are lucky, you can kill both. If not, you'll probably lose a life like me. Don't worry too much and kill the remaining enemies quickly with your punches. Grab the letter A and move on. If you are confident in killing this one, feel free to do so, but the hitbox is pretty weird so I prefer not to take the risk. Grab the diamond and go through the entrance. As soon as you start the next area begin charging. 
kill the two enemies and move carefully until you see the next running dude. Use the base strategy to get the letter T and be ready for another running enemy. Avoid and charge if needed. In this part, try to lure the enemies out of the tree segment zone. Avoid the running dude and charge back at him. Advance a little bit and charge again. Now get the super potion and kill all the enemies you can with it. The big dudes and running dudes need two hits to die. So advance a little and get back for optimal results. Charge again if needed to kill the remaining enemies. Don't get past the laser dudes and be ready for the new sword dudes. Kill them with quick punches and take care of the lasers. Advance a little bit, kill the remaining enemies and get the final ladder to fight the boss. The Cthulhu brothers can hit you a few times, but that's okay. You need to jump and kick in order to defeat them. So stay with the left one until he's down and for the next, try to be more careful with the spheres, especially when he starts gathering them in circles. Just keep trying to kill him as quick as possible and you'll be fine. At this point, you should have more than 50k points, and that's more than enough to beat the high score. But we can keep going. Kill the first enemies and charge by this pillar. Be careful while luring this first one. As you can see, he almost got me. I was feeling a little risky and punched this laser dude. He fires three times, then you have a little window to punch him. This next part is a little messy, so advance and lure the enemies outside the walls.
the running dudes can't attack you if you are close to them in a vertical way, so use that to your advantage. Charge if needed and then go for the diamond with extra care not to being hit with the laser. Wait for the letter D to circle back at you and don't risk the score trying to kill the laser dude. Move on and lure the enemies one by one to the lower part of the stage. Kill the laser dudes carefully keeping in mind that some big dudes might appear from the right and grab the sword. Try to use it as best as you can in this next segment, being careful not to get past the three yellow pillars. Lure the remaining enemies, kill the laser dudes if you want, and grab the diamond. Wait there for the next enemies and then here I was trying to kill this laser dude. Get past the pillars and be ready for the sword guys. I wasn't lucky and got hit. I quickly recovered from that and advanced until another running dude attacked. After that, advance through the opening to the next part of the level. There is a laser dude just at the beginning, so be careful with that and act accordingly. Wait for the big dude, then attempt to kill the laser. Be ready for another running dude and punch him to death after evading. Advance until you see new lasers. Kill the sword dude and get back to start charging. At this point I wanted to get a higher score than usual, 
so I took my chances against the lasers. Carefully moved on until I saw the new structures. There is a running dude at the bottom, so the idea is to lure him to the upper part and charge back. Kill the next sword dude and get the letter E. Charge above the laser dudes and stay in the area for a bit, luring the enemies in small groups. There is a laser in the upper part, so be careful with that. This next part is complicated, so try to start at the right side and kill the big dudes that approach. As you can see, I met my demise here, but it was enough to get me 80k score points. So, if you are okay with that, let the world explode and register your name in the scoreboard. There are no achievements for this, or any reward, at least in the Switch version but you get bragging rights for enduring that much. You can actually finish the minigame and see the ending. I've already uploaded a video of the full playthrough. You can use continues of course, but the score resets. There are only 4 stages, after that, the minigame starts over again. Thank you for staying to the end. See you around. Huh.